Hey my glam girls, welcome back to my channel. It's Chelsea where we talk about all things glam and all things girly. Today I wanna to talk about my April favorites. And guys, I got some good things in here, so I cannot wait to get into this video. But before we get into this video, I just wanna say thank you so much for spending some time with me today. I truly do appreciate it. And if you are new, I would love for you to consider subscribing and joining the Glam Girl Squad because we'd love to have you. And let's get right into this video. So first I wanna thank Dossier for sponsoring this portion of the video. I love Dossier fragrances. If you've been to follow me for any length of time, you know that I am a huge fan of their fragrances. And if you're not familiar with the brand, they are a brand that makes fragrances that are inspired by other fragrances. And I just found out that they are making their own scents, which is even more amazing. So you're getting amazing quality fragrances at a fraction of the price. I love Dossier. A lot of times when it comes to the Dossier fragrance versus the fragrance it's inspired from, I typically enjoy the Dossier version better. All jokes aside, there's like very few fragrances where I prefer the original fragrance over Dossier's version. Okay, so the two that I wanna share with you today, I have first Gourmand White Flower. So here's the packaging. Their packaging is quite simple, um, but still very high quality. So you've got a magnetic cap. And so Gourmand White Flowers is gonna be inspired by Victor and Rolf's Flower Bomb. Now I have owned, do I still own Flower Bomb? Yes, I do. So I have owned Flower Bomb for a very long time. Beautiful scent. So Dossier's version is gonna have top notes of bergamot, green tea, freesia, and berries, and the middle notes of white flowers, orchid, and rose, and then base notes of musk, patchouli, caramel, and vanilla. So this one smells very much like the original. Yes, smells very much like the original and Dossier's fragrances, if you're ever wondering like, do they last? They last an extremely long amount of time. All of the ones that I've tried have last on me from the time that I put them on in the morning until well into the evening. And this one, if you've never smelled Flower Bomb, it's a very flesh floral fragrance. Um, and it's one of those fragrances that you can wear during the day or you can wear it in the evening. So this one falls right in that path Really beautiful scent, highly recommend this one for sure. The other one that I have, oh, I love this original one. So Dossier's version is called Fruity Brown Sugar. It's inspired by YSL Mon Paris Eau de Parfum. I have that one as well and adore it. So Dossier's version has top notes of bergamot, raspberry, and pear, little notes of jasmine, orange blossom, brown sugar, and then base notes of patchouli, amber and vanilla this one you guys i'm just actually gonna put some on because i have not put on my fragrance for the day oh this one smells divine y'all and it smells just like moon petty dossier's version always has just a little twist just a, like a little twist a little variation but a lot of times it's so slight that you really can't tell a difference at all like i've worn fragrances um, around people and they've been like, oh, that's such and such that you're wearing. I'm like, actually, it's Dossier's version. So highly recommend this one. This one smells so beautiful. If um, you've never smelled the original fragrance, Fruity Brown Sugar is a really great description. It's a fruity scent, um, but it's got a gourmand twist to it because of that brown sugar type of flavor. This is also one that I would recommend for like daytime wear. Um, I prefer Mon Pet Petty in the day. I wouldn't wear that in the evening because I like more kind of sultry, deeper, like uh, sensual scents for the evening. But this is perfect for like an everyday wear scent. So definitely check out Dossier. I'll have a link down below so that you can check them out. And then they also have a, it's almost like a savings plan, like a um, rewards plan where you can sign up create an account and then as you purchase Dossier's fragrances, you get uh, points accumulated. So definitely check them out. I'll have everything linked down in the description box below. Thank you so much to Dossier for sponsoring this portion of the video. I love their fragrances. I highly recommend them. Okay, so moving on to another fragrance. We'll just get fragrances out the way and then we'll get into the makeup. So Brown Girl Jane, I love their fragrances. I have all three of their original fragrances back here and I love them. They're an amazing brand, 
black owned, woman owned, you know, gotta check them out, okay? So they came out with three new fragrances. So I decided to buy their Discovery set that comes with the original three. Um, so we have Bahia, Casablanca, and Lemu. I love all three, highly recommend them. So I was like, you know, I wanna try these new scents but I don't want to purchase a full size because what if I don't like them? You know, I want to try it out. So their new scents are Dawn, Dusk, and Dare. I'm purchasing all three in the full size, okay? So the ones that I've worn the most, I'm hoping you can see it, is Dawn. So what's amazing about these new scents, and I hope they have information on the back. Yes! <laughs> okay, so they've got all the scent notes of all of these in here. So I'll quickly read them off to you. So Bahia has notes of peach nectar, golden gardenia, and tuberose. Casablanca, oh, love Casablanca. Might be my favorite of the original three. Marshmallow, soft suede, and cardamom. And then Lamu is going to be Italian lemon, coconut water, and sandalwood. Amazing, I recommend all six of these, okay? All six. Then Dawn, so what's amazing about these new ones, Dawn, Dusk, and Dare. Dawn is literally made for you to wear in the morning. So we've got notes of water lily, amber resin, and vanilla bourbon. So I put this on in the morning. As you can see, like I have ran through, I don't know if you can see that, but I have ran through Dawn so much. So I'm actually gonna place an order for Dawn after I finish this video because I don't wanna run out of this. This smells so amazing and it smells like the morning. So like when, I, when I'm done getting dressed, I'll spritz on Dawn and I'm like, I'm now awake. It's so beautiful, okay. Then Dusk, as the name implies, is the scent that you wear toward the evening. And the Dusk actually was formulated with scents that actually helps you to calm down and like eases you into sleep. Come on, fragrance helping me go to sleep. So Dusk has notes of toasted almond, jasmine nectar, and cedarwood. And then Dare. Dare is a scent that I would wear in the evening. It's one of those like sultry, kind of, you know, darker, sensual scents. Dare is juicy cherry, rose damascena, and Italian leather. And usually Italian leather and I, we won't be going together. But this, this version of Italian leather, it's stunning. It is beautiful. Highly recommend Brow Girl, Brow Girl Jane fragrances, all of them. In terms of wear time, I get a good like six hours of wear amongst all of the fragrances. So they're not the longest lasting fragrance, but they are really beautiful scents. And to me, they're worth the buy for just how unique and beautiful they are. So highly recommend them. I have been obviously wearing these fragrances even when i was sick earlier this month i was putting these fragrances on and that tells you something because when you're sick at least i know when i'm sick i'm not worried about nothing in terms of beauty but i was like they smell so good so oh okay other fragrances so i picked up a few fragrances during the sephora savings event love don't be shy by killian and princess by killian okay so I knew I wanted Princess. Love Don't Be Shy is one of those fragrances that I feel like I should like, but every time I would go to smell it, I'm like, oh, it's just too sweet. So this time around, I was like, I'm gonna make myself like it. Buy me a travel size, and I'm gonna make myself like it. And you know what, y'all, I like it. I do, but I like it even better mixed with Killian's Princess. These two together, okay? If you don't have them, I'm not saying go out and buy them so you can smell them together, but what I am saying is if you do go out and buy them and smell them together, I think you would enjoy it. If you have them and you have not mixed them, please do yourself a favor and mix them together. Beautiful scents, highly recommend them. I've only had Love Don't Be Shy for like a week and a half. I'm gonna need me a full size real soon. Same with Princess, really beautiful scents. You can tell, like you can see like right along here, I've been, I've been loving these and I'm going out of town this weekend and they're coming with me. And I'm like, should I throw in Brown Gold Jane? I think I need to throw in Brown Gold Jane too as well. Cause you know, I've been loving them. Okay, getting into, oh, 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 wait, wait. I got one more fragrance. Kayali Pistachio Gelato. Yes, mm-hmm, yes. This scent is beautiful. I personally want a travel size so I can travel with this one because it's so beautiful. It just smells so fresh and so marshmallowy and so like with a hint of cotton candy. It smells divine. It smells so good. 
This is a very fresh gourmand type of scent. That's how it smells to me. And I absolutely love it. If you love notes like that, I think you would truly enjoy the scent. And then the packaging, I mean, can we get any cuter? It's beautiful. So highly recommend all of those fragrances from Dossier, Killian, Brown, Brown Girl Jane. Love them. Let's get into some makeup. Alrighty. Makeup Forever HD Skin Sculpting Palette. This is really, really, really beautiful. Um, I love it, absolutely love it. I had a little bit of learning curve because originally I thought this would be a good all over face shade, it was a little too light, but I can mix these two together to get a shade that complements my skin really well. And granted, this one doesn't have blush in it, but I mean, if you've got a blush that you like, this is pretty much a full complexion base palette. I really like it and I would recommend it to people who number one, feel that they can use the majority of these shades. Um, I would not pick this up if you're like, okay, I could only, use, you know, I'm only gonna use like a couple of shades. I mean, you do what you wanna do. But I think to get the most bang for your buck, you're gonna wanna look at this and be able to at least think like, I can do a lot with this palette. Um, but I think it's a it's an amazing palette and, if, and I would recommend it to people who also are into mixing shades and you know working with something to get what you want from it because that's how you get the most from this type of palette. But in terms of formula, longevity of wear, like amazing. I'm also traveling with this this weekend as well. That tells you a lot. Okay, um, Sephora Collection Lip Stains. This is what I'm wearing on my lips. So this is shade 25, 26. And then this is shade 73. I These are nothing new that I love, but these are the two newest shades that I've picked up and I love them. I've been wearing them with like other types of lip products and in and, and different combinations. And you guys always compliment me or you've been complimenting me on my lip colors and my lip combinations. And usually Sephora Collection lip stains are involved. If it's not the whole entire look of the lip, it's at least half of it. So highly recommend these. These are beautiful products, wear all day, um, dry down to a matte finish so you don't have to worry about them bleeding anywhere. And they're $15 full price. So definitely not a product that's gonna break your wallet compared to some of, some of the other things that we'd be talking about. Okay, Iconic London's Roll-On Highlighter. I love this thing, okay? Gimmick, no gimmick. The product is amazing. It gives a really beautiful, subtle highlight. And I've been wearing this on either on my skin just by itself with no makeup on top, or I've been wearing this on top of my powdered face. It blends in beautifully. I do prefer to blend this in with my finger over a brush. I find with the brush, it just doesn't blend as easily because the formula is not like a really emollient, slippery formula that's gonna blend easily with a brush. Like you gotta kinda put some work into it. So my recommendation is I just roll it literally onto wherever I wanna apply it and then blend it out with my finger. And it's so beautiful, very quick. And you can build this product up so you can go from quite a subtle highlight to a more intense highlight. The shade that I have is called Peach Paradise and this is doing exactly what I thought it would do for me and I'm loving it. I'm also traveling with this as well. I've already packed my makeup bag and I had to reach back in my makeup bag for some of these products because they are amazing. Okay, something else that's amazing that's coming with me this weekend. Pat McGrath and these bronzers, okay? She did it for me in these bronzers. Formula is amazing. I have a full review where I reviewed four of her bronzers. Yes, four of the bronzers, her new um, Divine Rose 3 blush, and my favorite bronzer of all the four that I have is Bronze Mahogany, which is the deepest shade. This one you can get at Sephora. She does not have all of her bronzer shades um, on Sephora's website. Um, so if there's a shade that you want, you're either gonna have to get it from Sephora or get it from her website, just depending on the shade. But Bronze Mahogany is at Sephora. It is the bronzer that I'm wearing today. And oh, every time I put this bronzer on, I just be feeling myself. It's a neutral bronze, which I love neutral bronzers. I love just the warmth that it gives to the skin and the formula is so silky smooth. It blends effortlessly. It is quite pigmented, but I can control the pigmentation, which makes me like this bronzer even more because looking at it in the pan, I'm like, this might be too deep for me, but oh, it's not, it is not. And I will say that 
looking at her bronzer swatches when she first came out with the swatches, I was like, mother, these are not looking like they're gonna span your complexion shade range, but they do. So if you are interested in her bronzers, but you're not sure what shade to get, go to her website, go to the bronzers, and she will tell you, like if you click on a bronzer shade and go down to the description box, it'll tell you, if you wear this shade range in my foundation, this bronzer will work for you. And it will, because I remember looking at Desert Glow. Yeah, Desert Glow is the lightest bronzer shade. And I looked at this and I was like, now, who bronzed in what? Because this is the bronzer recommendation for the foundation shade that I wear, but this actually bronzes my skin. No lie. Check out the video so you can see how they look in action. But my favorite shade, Bronze Mahogany, and I'm traveling with this as well this weekend. So beautiful. Okay. Okay, every eye look that I have done, probably for the past few videos, has been with this palette. Oh my goodness me. I love the formula in this palette. I love the shades in this palette. It's what of it's what's on my eyes today. Like <laughs> it's so simple but so impactful. And I love it. Her mattes blend beautifully. Like they're very pigmented, blend very effortlessly. Um, this metallic bronzer shimmer shade is what does it for me every time I use this palette. Like it looks so wet and glossy and like a sunrise all by itself. And it's kind of got that fairy dust formula a little bit that I be loving. Oh, it's so beautiful. And then this shade is really beautiful as well. I have it in the inner corner. It's kind of worn away a bit, but I also put it on my brow bone as well. I mean, this is like a no fail eyeshadow palette. Like this is an eyeshadow palette you travel with. You throw in your makeup bag for work. You are going out and you're like, okay, I wanna look cute and smoky, but I don't wanna be doing, I don't wanna think too much. Like this is the palette that you reach for. It is such a, multi-use or i should say multi-environment type of palette i love it so glad i picked it up because i almost didn't pick this up because i was like no i've got all them shades five times over plus mm. but i needed this eyeshadow palette i did and this is also at sephora too if you were you know wanting to get it from sephora versus pat mcgrath's website it is there highly recommend it not a favorite, but just an update. So the blush that I'm wearing today is the Haas Labs blush in the shade Dragon Fruit Days. This is pretty. I get the hype why people love these blushes. The formula, oh, it's so pretty. So I love the like cooler tone of this blush, but I love that it works with my more warm toned complexion, eye look and things like that. Really beautiful formula. So if you were looking at these blushes and you were just like, you know, it's a formula really nice it's really beautiful it's a really silky almost like um like a silky creamy powder formula and this shade is really beautiful i just went in with a little bit of the blush i didn't want too much of this blush popping through just because my complexion is more warm but i really really enjoy it so this is just kind of an update i've been enjoying it um and i would definitely recommend it okay another favorite Fenty Beauty's Hella Thick Volumizing Mascara. Absolutely love it. I have worn this mascara every time I've done my makeup since I've gotten it. So we're going on almost a month now. It adds volume, it adds length. It is the mascara I'm wearing today. Um, I'm not wearing any false lashes. I just didn't feel like putting any, on, putting any on. But with this particular mascara, I put on a couple coats and I don't feel so inclined to wear false lashes because it really does lift separate and add volume to my lashes so i really enjoy this i enjoyed her original mascara so i'm glad to know that this was not a disappointment because at this point i'm like fenty beauty makes really great mascaras based on what i like and how they perform so definitely recommend that going in my makeup travel bag as well um and if you're interested in all of the makeup that i'm traveling with i did already post a video of that i'm going to the makeup show in new york city and i'm gonna meet Danessa myricks Yay! Um, and some other amazing people as well. So if you want to see what makeup I packed, I'll link that video so you can watch that. Um, okay, um, mm, okay, another lip product that I've been loving, this Dior Attic Lip Balm. So I bought this because I was like, you know, I'm the packaging. I mean, it's so pretty. 
And I was like, you know, I'll try it probably just, you know, we'll use it and toss it in a drawer. Oh no, oh no, honey. This has been living in my purse. And remember I told you all that I really enjoyed this, but I think I liked the Bobbi Brown extra lip tint better okay i have been reaching for this dior lip balm over the bobby brown one now the bobby brown one lives in my purse let me go ahead and take it out and i mean we could throw this in here as a favorite but the reason why i'm not is because i have not reached for this one nearly as much as i've reached for the lip balm by dior but i will go ahead and show it to you it's really pretty i have this shade called bear punch and I've been using it, like definitely have been using it. This is more of, it's got a little bit more slip to it in terms of the lip balm um, compared to the Dior. But I think the reason why I like this, number one, I like the actual tint of color that it leaves on the lips and it really hydrates my lips and the hydration lasts. So I don't know, I just, I don't know if it's the packaging that I just keep reaching for because I like the packaging so much and then the product works well so it's, you know, a twofer, a win-win, but like, I remember thinking I probably won't repurchase this. I most definitely will repurchase this, for sure. Okay, then we have, um, y'all know I'll be loving foundations, but a foundation that I found myself reaching for pretty consistently in April, if I wasn't specifically reaching for a foundation for a video, I'm still loving the Guerlain foundation. So I wear the shade four and it is the foundation I'm wearing today. It's just a beautiful everyday foundation and that's why I like it. When I want like a really nice, you know, uh, even skin tone, beautiful natural look to the skin, but I don't wanna have to worry about doing too much, you know, like, I can put this foundation on with the most minimal makeup and be out the door and it looks beautiful. Or I can glam this all the way up and it looks beautiful. I highly recommend this one. I mean, you guys know I've been loving other types of foundations as well, but like when I'm just going for like a quick face or like I just wanna throw on some makeup and not even think about what I'm putting on cause I know it's gonna look good. Guerlain is the one that I've been reaching for. Nice medium coverage and I prefer medium coverage foundations for more everyday wear. So. I'm still loving it. I think it's beautiful and amazing. And if you have um, really any skin type, I think this one actually would span the skin type range, dry all the way to oily. I think anyone could enjoy it. The Fenty Skin Body Butter. Okay, so nothing new, right? Okay, I just personally tried it for the first time in April. I think I got my first one the end of March. And um, you know, it's a body butter that probably is not worth the price, you know, because maybe it's not, um, but this is my second one. I flew through the first one that I purchased and I was like, I get the hype. Like for people who are like Fenty Skin Body Butter stands, I get it. It's so hydrating on the skin. I love how like the hydration stays. It's thick, but it's not too thick. Um, it smells great. Like it's a really subtle scent to it. Uh, I just love it. So I flew through the first one. So like one of my very like last purchases from Sephora to the savings event was the second one. So I've got a little bit of the body butter left on the cap. So that's why you see the body butter on the, um, packaging here. I haven't opened up the second one yet, but I love this stuff. Like I bought other body butters during the Sephora savings event and this is the one I've been reaching for. Like the new one from Sol de Janeiro. I actually have it still sitting back here. I have not opened it because I've been reaching for this one. And I know it's great. I just been loving on the 50 skin one. Um, okay, and then the last one that I wanna talk about is the Kosas Sunbeam sunscreen. This is really beautiful. So Kosas did send this one to me and it's a sunscreen with an SPF 40. You can wear it alone or you can use it as a primer under your makeup. I've worn it a few different times in both types of ways. For me, it doesn't pill on the skin. I know some of you all said that you had issues with pilling and I, ooh. now I don't know how long this lipstick has been on my teeth, but I just saw it. Don't judge me by it. Um, it has not pilled for me with the skincare that I've been using. So I would say that if it's pilling for you, either check the skincare that you're using to see if it's compatible. I mean, obviously it's not if it's pilling. Um, 
or you might need to wait a little bit. So sometimes um, if I do my skincare and then immediately go in with certain sunscreens, it'll peel because my skincare has not settled yet before putting on sunscreen. So you might wanna wait maybe like five to 10 minutes. Um, and then the amount that you use. So if you're using like way too much in my pill versus using the recommended amount, which I think is like half a teaspoon, that's how much you're supposed to use for sunscreen. But for me, I love it. It's beautiful on the skin. I love the glow that it leaves too. And I'm really happy to have it. And guys, that is it. So thank you so much for watching. Leave me down in the comment section below what some of your favorite April favorites have been. You know I want to hear all of them because, you know, there's more makeup to be bought. And if you've made it to this point in the video and you have yet to subscribe to my channel, I would love for you to consider subscribing and joining the Glam Girl Squad because we'd love to have you. And guys, that is it. Thank you so much for watching. And I really hope to see you in my very next video. Bye, guys.